What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be going over pretty much the weekly event guide for the Mid-Autumn Festival. There are a couple things you might want to be prepared for when it comes to uh, the Fairy's Journey, the Carrot Shop, a bunch of things, so let's go over all my recommendations. This is definitely one of the best events uh, we've had in a while. I mean, lots of free stuff. You're going to get tons of puppets if you've saved up profit orbs, and it's looking pretty good. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Go check the links in the description. We are affiliate now with uh, a couple other sponsors. We are with Blue Stacks. We have it with DX Racer Chairs, which... I, mean, I got one right here. I love this chair. I've had this one forever. We're now an affiliate, and we are also an affiliate with ExpressVPN. So I use it all the time now. Keep us safe and secure. Plus, of course, you can use and cheat the uh, the Netflix systems and stuff and find shows that you can't watch necessarily in your country region. And, of course, play those other mobile games that are region locked in Southeast Asia, etc. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> So first off, let's start with the actual limited events. Of course, there's the Profit Orb event. You're going to be getting the special Osmanthus Wines. We're just going to call them Wines for this event that are going to be used in one of the events in this. Yes, there's multiple resources in this event. It's pretty spicy, uh, but you do get them every loop. You can do a max of eight loops on Kirimaro's. Not really all that great. Sherlock is pretty great when it comes to Sea Land, though, for doing 21 and 25. If you're pushing, you're going to need at least two Sherlocks. Grab the copies while you can. You're getting those cores. Everything looks good. I would kind of suggest figuring out exactly how many profit orbs you're going to do because these wines you keep accumulating through a complete eight loop, not just a four loop like you will with other resources from this event. So definitely take that into consideration. This event is definitely one to use your universal crystal shards on because not only can you get a mysterious artifact chest or of course, you know, the star spawn cores using these up are going to give you another currency in this event. So using these and having more than 2,400, 2,500 is going to be a big bonus. We will get to that a little bit later. Heroic Miracle is also going to be giving you 30 of these wines. So definitely grab them. Uh, of course, you should be doing it anyway every month. And then Ormus Workshop, Glorious Boost Back. Crown is by far the best option here, in my opinion. It is the most universally used artifact when we're pushing sea lands. It's just amazing. So let's jump into the mid-autumn festival moons ritual so this one here is going to be where you have to do a minimum of 300 profit orbs 55 star summons you will get these biscuits right here the from using the rose bouquets that are the campaign event so this you probably won't do until towards the end of the week and then of course there's vip experience for bonuses what are the rewards well most people who do this event fully free to play aka just the top section up here we'll get to the first three chests. That means you're getting a five-star hero, you're getting a nine-star puppet, which is really great, and you are getting an artifact selection chest of Autumn, aka a low-tier pay-to-win artifact chest. Kiss a Ghost is probably going to be the most useful overall for the average player. Getting an upgraded Kiss a Ghost solves a lot of problems, like Abyss Sea Land all the way up to 20, uh, Shadow, it's a very good artifact for healing when you have a glittery or higher one. Antlers can, of course, the best PvE artifact in the game when we're talking about pure boss damage. Uh, so that's something to consider. The other two are very niche. There are some uses for Lucky Candy Bar, but we haven't really used it that much. Beware. And then, of course, if you do end up using your bouquets, you might have a chance to get a little bit higher. You can get a total of 250 of these biscuits. So actually the highest you can get is 600. So there is a chance to get an additional chest that has also the light and dark heroes in it. So not too bad there. Then of course, if you start doing VIP, that's when you get multiple artifact chests, 10 star puppets and a whole lot other stuff. So that event, really great. You're going to get some good stuff there. Next up, we have the Fairy's Journey. This is what you're going to be using these wines for. And actually, I need to jump my server real quick because I completed the Heroic Miracle. It did not give me my loot. If you guys ever wonder why you're in-game and like, I claim the loot, it's not there. Just log off, come back on, something like that. You'll get your resources. It's just a bug that's been there forever. So this is an interesting story. This dis depends on what you click so big warning here we're going to show you something tricky there's this of course an entire story you can go through it it costs wines to proceed that's great this is the one level right here that is tricky 
and of course all the puppets are going to be at the very end so if you're hunting those six star puppets take heed right here when we go into this one there are two different options 200 million gold or 200 million spirit if you want to go for the puppets do not take the gold the gold is going to lead you to a dead end essentially in the storyline you want to just keep on moving so if you take the spirit you continue on if you take the gold you then have to farm up an additional 20 wines to continue along your way once you're here, then again, you can pick which way you want to go. Uh, I will show you this a little bit later in the week. If you guys want to wait, I'm going to do the whole event. So you'll get to see which one goes for what type of puppet. We'll have that for you guys as well. But um, yeah, it's, it's very, very nice here. So to completely fill out this event, if you want to do all of this, it's going to cost 350 of those wines, which is essentially 320 from doing the eight loops of profit orbs and then 30 from the heroic miracle that we just used right there. The best checkpoints as far as like, I guess you should say the best markers to show you how, for best rewards in this is either 300 or 600. If you do 300 profit orbs, you will get four of the six star puppets. If you do 600, you'll be able to do like the entire event here and that's gonna get you all of the puppets. So essentially each one of these end nodes here has two six star puppets for a specific faction. If you go one route, one side, you'll be able to get that. Go to the other side, that's gonna cost 600 profit orbs. So you have to decide how many you wanna do and if you want the hero copies for this event. So not too bad, not too bad. Um. That pretty much covers the fairy's journey here. Again, this is the big the trick one. Don't go for the gold. Go for the spirit. I'm sure a lot of you guys already did. That's why I say always wait for us to figure this out before you do it. But I know people get impatient. Next up, we have the Jade Rabbit's Nosh. So this one is essentially every time you spend your rose bouquets in the campaign shop, you will get a carrot biscuit. Now, I do see they did raise the cost from the original spoilers from yesterday, but the ratio you get is still better than the original. Essentially, they increase these by 50%, but they uh, are not 50%. Wait, 50%? I don't know the percentage. They raise it so that basically it's not too bad. So here's my take on this. If you have missed out on a Sword Flash skin, a Queen skin, if you're missing out on a Transcendence Legendary Festival skin that you do not have, it might be worth going for these. Why? Because these skins here, Mid-Autumn Limited Skin... What is this one here? It's a mid-autumn limited skin. What is this one here? Mid-autumn limited skin. These are all festival skins, which means you can convert these into Transcendence Hero skins, aka festival only ones. I don't believe you can do it for the new one for Vesta just yet, but it is an option if you want to go for it. Otherwise, going for nine-star puppets, always great because it's so much food packed into one purchase. I guess you could go for five star chests if you absolutely need it, but I do think the puppets are the best value out of everything, unless of course you're in that special situation, like I said, and you are wanting to go into here and you're wanting to replace a festival skin, because of course festival skins can only be replaced into other festival skins. So actually, let me take a look. Can we filter by transcendence? Yes, so you can do right now, it looks like Sword Flash and uh, Queen are the two that you can swap into, so. Just be prepared. You're going to have to feed a lot of extra fodder off too. But it definitely is possible. So that is my consideration when we're talking about those. And of course, we have the two packages. The newest package, the big one, of course, has the Mid-Autumn Festival Limited Skin Dance of Brocade. I'm not a fan of it personally, the looks. I'm a fan of the stats, and I have it. But it's going to stay hidden. It's definitely cool for some people and of course the other one is decent if you do need some more universal crystal shards the bonus is that you're going to get vip experience for those as well so not too bad all right let me know what you guys think hopefully that helps you out again this is probably the biggest trick of the event right here figures ticks being tricky hopefully you guys enjoy this one see you guys next time